The time is 12 o'clock. Here is the news at 12 on Women Radio 91.7. of the society have been urged to treat their domestic staff with respect and consider their mental health while interacting with them. This was stated by Ayobami Odeyemi, a lawyer and social commentator on women radio program, The Big Question. In view of the 2023 general elections, Mufuli Atsfijabi, Chief Executive Officer of the Nigeria Women Trust Fund has expressed her optimism for a successful election that will encourage women and other members of the society to cast their votes on Saturday, 25 February 2023. She hopes that the electioneering process will be free of obstacles and difficulties, and most importantly, that analysis will be conducted by the Gender Electoral Watchroom of the Nigerian Women Trust Fund. Fijabi said that this at a pre-election gender electoral watch room organized by Nigerian Women Trust Fund supported by the European Union, support to democratic governance in Nigeria and other implementing partners on Thursday, 23rd February 2023. Fijabi speaks further. Looking forward to a successful election, uh, one that will make people come out, especially women, to cast their vote on the election day. We're hopeful that uh, the process will go without any difficulty and any challenges. Uh, we will be doing analysis from a gender and election watch room of the Nigerian Women Trust Fund. From that, a 40-year-old man, George Upang, has been remanded in Kirikiri Correctional Center by an Ikeja Magistrate Court, sitting on Thursday, 23rd February 2023, for allegedly raping a 15-year-old girl. Turning to the foreign scene in northwest England, a 24-year-old man has been arrested by Greater Manchester Police Department on suspicion of assault on a 23-year-old lady. Finally, in the world of sport, Washington State women's basketball team won University of California, Los Angeles 37-30 on Thursday, 23rd of February 2023. Today marks 8 years and 314 days since the Chibo girls have been captured and 5 years and 5 days since the abduction of Leah Shamibo, the Dapchi girl. Women Radio 91.7 calls for the safe release of all our girls still in captivity. Women Radio 91.7 demands justice from the government for victims and survivors of sexual abuse and rape. If you have been sexually abused, please contact the Sexual Assault Referral Center near you. The news at 12 is edited by Esther Alarubi. I am Blessing. Agbeito, good afternoon. We are Nigeria's first female-centric radio station for women and families. WFM 91.7. WFM 91.7.